Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Miss Katrine, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this episode, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of reproduction in plants. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking in the description down below. So let's get started. Let's take a look at this question. There are three different types of plant, P, Q, and R and they disperse their fruits on land as shown in these three diagrams here. The seeds germinated and grew into young plants. The triangle represents the parent plant, while the circle represents the dispersed fruits or seeds which then grew into young plants. Today, I will be teaching you a technique to solve such questions. But before I introduce the technique, let us do a quick recap on the different methods of seed dispersal. Can you recall what are the four methods of seed dispersal? Firstly, we have wind, water, by animals, and lastly, seeds that are dispersed by splitting. These are the four methods of seed dispersal. For such question, the trick is to firstly identify the dispersal pattern. Once you have identified the pattern, you can then match it accordingly to the dispersal method. So, let's take a look at plant P first. What is the dispersal pattern of plant P? They are all clustered around the parent plant. So let's write this down first. What method of seed dispersal is this? It is splitting. Let's take a look at plant Q. If you look carefully, they are all dispersed in a certain direction. The fruits or the seeds are all dispersed towards the top right. What do you think caused all of these seeds to be dispersed only towards the right side? It must be the wind. This can be confirmed by checking the direction of the wind. Since all of the seeds are dispersed in the direction of the wind, let's write that down. Now, can we conclude what is the dispersal method for the fruits or seeds of plant Q? Is it by wind, water, animal or splitting? It is by wind. Lastly, let's take a look at plant R. What kind of pattern are the seeds dispersed in? Do they have a specific pattern? No specific pattern, right? So, they are randomly dispersed. If the seeds are randomly dispersed, which method do you think would allow the seeds to be randomly dispersed? Could it be by water? No! If it's by water, the young plants would be found along the side of the water body. So, it cannot be by water. Therefore, it has to be by animals. Therefore, let's match it to the options below. We are now supposed to choose the characteristics of the fruits or seeds that are dispersed by that specific method. The dispersal method for plant P is by splitting and the dispersal method for plant Q is by wind and lastly for plant R it is by animals. Let's take a look at the first option. Are the fruits of plant P small and light? Is this a characteristic of fruits that are dispersed by splitting? No, they are most likely to be dispersed by wind. What about the fruits that splits open when it is ripe? What is the dispersal method? It is splitting. What about the fruits with a pod-like structure? The pod-like structure would allow the fruit to split open when the fruit is ripe, throwing the seeds forcefully around the parent plant. This causes the seeds to be clustered or scattered around the parent plant as shown in the diagram above. What about the fruits with a juicy flesh? If the fruits have a juicy flesh, most likely they are dispersed by animals. Now, let's check for plant Q. If the fruit has hooks, it would allow the fruit to be attached to the outer covering of animals, which means that most likely they are dispersed by animals, not wind. Now, what about fibrous cask? If the fruit has a fibrous cask, the fruits are dispersed by water. What does the fibrous cask do? They trap air, allowing the fruit to float on water, causing the fruits to be then dispersed further away from the parent plant. So fibrous cast is not possible, as fibrous cast would mean that the fruits are dispersed by water, not wind. If the fruit has a wind-like structure, means its dispersal method would be by wind. The last option tells us that the fruit of plant Q is also small and light. Is this a characteristic of fruits that are dispersed by wind? Yes. This allows the wind to easily carry the fruit or the seeds away from the parent plant. Lastly, let's check for plant R. 
since the fruits of plant are, are dispersed by animals, what kind of characteristic does the fruit or seeds have? Would the fruits of plant are have a juicy flesh? Yes, the juicy flesh would attract the animals to eat the fruits. And during the process, when the animals eat the fruits, if the fruits have a small seed, the seeds will be swallowed and passed out together with the waste of the animals further away from the parent plant. But what if the fruit have a large seed? Would the animals still swallow these large seeds? No, instead, they would spit out these large seeds further away from the parent plant. The second option, fruits that have a wing-like structure, are they dispersed by animals? No, they are most likely to be dispersed by wind, not animals. The third option, the fruits of plant are has hooks. The hooks get attached to the outer covering of the animal. And when the animal move, the seeds are carried further away from the parent plant and the seeds will then fall off and be dispersed further away from the parent plant randomly. The last option, pod-like structure. Is this a characteristic of seeds that are dispersed by animals? No, this is most likely to be dispersed by splitting, not animals. Therefore, the answer for this question is option number 3. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!